Hi everyone, Lazy Fire here. Welcome back to Black, or welcome Black, I guess. I don't know. Listen, I'm not good at this. Still there? Yeah. Please stop shooting me. Did not mean to throw two grenades there, but I stand by the decision. Like I said, those shield guys, uh, or I said in the previous video, those shield guys can be a major problem. So I throw grenades at them. That is how you deal with problems. Good. And I just let that guy shoot the door, or the wall open for me. Jesus, I thought it was another shield guy. In these hallways especially, those shield guys are a bitch and a half to deal with. Just, uh, prefer not to do it. Yeah, I didn't think you could punch walls open. Now, what you're hearing is guys that are not in this area here. Uh, they're actually, yeah, this guy. I was gonna say they're further into that room, but they're actually just behind this wall, so let's just take care of that. Now, I don't know why this is having issues. I've got all this ammo. I'm not, not too concerned with uh, wasting any, but one of the things about this game is that as much as it likes to tout the, or it likes it, it touted the destruction of levels being a thing, uh, a lot of stuff is just superficial destruction. Oh, hi. It does have a fun shotgun though, so that's good. Uh, and I'm just coming back through here to see if I can't pick off. Uh, and you're also seeing now the uh, issue that I take with some of the decisions on particle effects in this game. Um, as I've mentioned, like one of the things they wanted to do was really make a cinematic uh, game. And how they decided to do that is uh, to have like all these effects like you see in movies like, you know, The Matrix or something like that, where, there we go, got him. I don't, it took ever, forever. Um, but you'd have these situations where you have, you know, a guy, people shooting stuff and, like, stuff falling off walls and things like that. But one of the things they have is just this insane number of particles that are always flying around. Um, and it makes it difficult to find enemies. Enemies do not have that issue finding you in the massive dust that you're kicking up all the time. Uh, let's save again, because I'm about to go through a doorway. Those are historically dangerous. Did a good job of clearing out most of this level. Uh, don't know if I'm gonna need the shotgun. Yeah. I was thinking the shotgun might be nice, yeah. All right, well, where are you going? This guy is just, like, way behind. There we go. Got him. Got him all, though. All right. That, that's a lot of damage I took in that room. Okay. Good news is that once we get down these stairs... There is a restock room. Bad news is that this is the last room in the level, really. Um, fuck.
Hmm. Should have saved after the firefight in that room. Okay. Well, this could be worse. Good. That was a lot better. Maybe it was good. Maybe it was a good thing that I uh, got stuck on that railing. Let's save again. Just be sure that this is not going to hurt me again. I don't really want to redo rooms if I don't have to. Uh, my plan was actually to save once I restocked on everything in that room. Um, hey, I got there this time. All right, good. The restock room is not well stocked, unfortunately. Uh, I only have three grenades. Hmm. This is going to hurt. Okay. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to go into the next room and I'm going to be frustrated for the rest of the video. <laughs> um, this door is going to shut as soon as I go through it. Enemies are going to pour in. It is limited amounts of cover in there, as you can see. What I found works best is actually getting up top so you can kind of work to the sides a little bit, but there's nothing there if you look. There's not really anything there you can hide behind. Um, and there's going to be shield guys that come in the room. And uh, if you're not careful with your grenades, you're, uh, you're going to have to try to take out shield guys with guns, and it's just not fun. So let's get going. I'm trying not to go through the door all the way to see if I can maybe spawn some of these guys and then jump back in. This is McCarver. We got multiple but trying to get into the building. We'll try to hold them off. We'll try, but we're receiving heavy fire. Do you copy? This fucking better be worth it, Keller. Yeah. So you can see, this is not going well about four seconds in. The fact that I can't move that fast is kind of also a problem. Enemies can reposition much faster than I can. That's just a fact. Uh, you've seen them run. They just sprint between points. So, hitting them when they're moving is difficult. Uh, but running away from them when they are stationary and firing is a little worse. Okay, that was not a bad first round. I was actually starting to think, oh, I screwed up and I forgot which room this was, but no. This is the room I'm thinking of. You noticed I have not used my uh, health pack yet. I am desperately attempting to not use one uh, until I've cleared out everything I can to make sure I don't have another one that I can pick up at the same time. Okay, we're in a good spot here. Actually, I do take that back. This is not the exact room I was thinking of. It's got to be the next one. Yeah, this is actually too large for it. Uh, they're very similar rooms. I'm sorry for the eight minute uh, debate about if I should enter or not, but all I remember was the uh... huh. all I remembered was like seeing those columns and thinking, oh, this is going to suck. But these guys dropped a good amount of ammo. Got that. did have to use a health pack, which is unfortunate, and uh, even though I cleared out these guys, that door doesn't open back up, so that sucks. I really want a health pack. Just get me a, a kit and I'll be happy, but I'm probably going to have to give up on that dream pretty soon and just get us moving. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. 
Oh well. Yeah, it's this next one. That's the issue. <laughs> okay. Oy. So yeah, that door shutting behind you thing, it doesn't happen in any other level of the game, except for the very last. Structure. We'll advise once the package is secure. Out. Here we go. Here we go. This is the restock room we were looking for. Let's, uh, give ourselves a save. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is it. We might get out of this just real easy. Who knows? I still only have three grenades because I was being very cautious. I wasn't going to throw one until I saw a grenade guy, or a shield guy. Um, there should be grenades actually in this room, and you can see right there there is actually a first aid kit. So that's good news. Um, this room does have... Well, there's actually two first aid kits against those columns. That's good. Uh, this room does actually have a little bit more cover to it. Um, another first aid kit. I'll take it. So, alright. This door is going to shut behind us too. But, uh, yes, I'm putting this off as long as I can because... Uh, like I said in the previous video, the bumper on this controller is stuck, and uh, it's causing issues. But let's let's give this a shot. There's our shield guy. Go to hell, shield guy. Yes, got them both. That makes the rest of this much much easier. Those shield guys are would fire on you with uh, SMGs if given the chance. If I can just maintain the same luck with my grenade tosses on those shield guys that keep coming out, I will be very happy. But I need them to get in the right spot. That looks like that worked. Grab a health pack. Uh, I can't tell who's that. Fuck. Alright. That shield guy is still alive. That's fine. I can deal with this. You see how he doesn't really move uh, that fast? So you can kind of get around him, or you can bait that swing and try to punish him. Because he can't shoot you while he's swinging. And he actually has one of the breakable shields. Will you just swing, swing? I am wasting so much health on this guy. You can see this is why I was saving grenades. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna pick up some health packs. Now you can also just, like I said, this is actually a breakable shield. Or it should be. Fine. I give up. I, I had to use that grenade. I didn't want to, but that's just too much damage I was taking from him. Alright, we need to get into a room here. It's questionable on if I should do a quick save here. What you're seeing me do now is a little bit on the cowardly side, but <laughs> it's also very, very strategically important that I do not get my fucking face out there shot uh, over and over. Okay. Mm, I don't have enough health to make this work. I was hoping that this room would actually have a health pack. Oh, so those are those some grenades? 
I need those. You might have seen that the current objective is to take out the machine gun nest. Will you die? That must be amazing to have that much health. Ah, the fucking armored goddamned railing. Okay. No. Nope. Not good. Not good. Okay. Game. Game, please. No. I am looking for a health pack. Dead. Yep. Yep. I expected that. So. Let's see what happens this time. That was unfortunate. And I actually do blame myself, but also the game fucking up for what happened there. That was ugly. Let's, uh, let's try this again. Alright. In this scenario, we are not fucking with these shield guys. Okay. Please stop shooting and moving. That is making it hard for me to live. One pack down. Come on, dude. There we go. So that's how you're supposed to deal with them. But in all honesty, getting behind them is going to hurt you a lot more than you'd like. see how many of these guys there are shooting me right now. I'm getting up top. There's a guy behind me now. I picked up this Uzi because I am running low on ammo for the M16 and I frankly can't rely on that like, maintaining viability. Hi. Okay. This strategy may seem cowardly. And it kinda is. No. Okay, I'm taking a risk here. There we go. That's what I wanted. I need all the grenades that this game will give me. Four hundred and ten rounds. I'll take it. Oh, hey, look, that guy's got me, uh... Guy was, uh, glitching out there like I was. Okay. So the machine gun nest... Fuck. 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 So I, I literally do not understand the concept of the machine gun nest being an enemy emplacement like that. Um, you just don't have the tools to take it out until enemies start dropping grenades, 
which doesn't happen until the very end of this room. Okay. I think we're fucked. Why do I always do the dumbest thing possible? Yeah, mm, I saved it after that was happening. Let's uh, just get out of here. You don't have to fight that last guy. Hmm. Well, that only took two shots. It's not bad. Now, like I said, I also made use of uh, quick saves. If you don't have that, kind of hurts that area. Mission complete. It's difficult to get through there. Okay, the dockyard is a pretty easy level, so it'll be nice to get back to that. And there's few chances for the glitch outs to happen again. So let's uh, agree to this, get our cutscene, and uh, start up on the next one. Please, 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 I don't know. Think of your wife, Nina, and little no, Milos. No, they have nothing to do with this. They will, unless you tell me where Lennox is. Where did you get that? Sit down! Your mission was to take out Valencio, not torture him. What's going on here? Just to answer the questions. So you hit the dockyard based on Valencio's info? Yes. Under what authority? Lieutenant McCarver. She briefed the vision and they greenlit the op. No, they did not. She never went up the chain. What? McCarver has been under investigation for some time now. Your mission ended at the steelworks. You had no authority to execute that operation. We had division dockets that outlined the operation. My former team would go in first and pull the trigger. I was riding shotgun with McCarver and Solomon. Two teams, one area. Lennox was the target. Are you good enough to unlock the M16A2? I mean, I found it. That was good. All right, so let's get our quick uh, startup here. Yeah, SMG. Yeah, shotgun. Very excited about that shotgun. The uh, Alpha Argo, moving now. This pump action is pretty nice. Copy that, Alpha. All right, so next time, Dockyard. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll see you then. Bye.